One of the most awesome things about DJ for iOS is that it's got an intuitive and slick interface. Everything's just so crisp, so clear. It makes spinning using your fingers and the touchscreen very, very easy. But did you know that if you're using an iPad Pro, you can get the smart keyboard attachment, you can connect it, and you can get access to essential keyboard commands. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of those essential keystrokes. And towards the end, I'm gonna show you how you can access all of the available hotkeys using the keyboard. Let's get to it. All right, so I've got DJ running over here on my iPad Pro. I've got my keyboard attached. And now I'm gonna show you a couple of essential shortcuts that you'd wanna use while you're spinning. First up, you probably wanna know, hey, how can I scan through a playlist or a crate that I've got in here? Well, yeah, you can use your finger just like that. But if you want to use the keyboard, in order to do that, you just need to use the up and down arrow. So down, goes down and up move the selector up, and let's say we want to load a track on the deck. Again, you can just drag and drop it using your finger, but again, if you want to use the keyboard, it makes it a little bit faster sometimes, you can just use the left and right arrow keys, pressing the left arrow key, moves it to the left deck, right, loads the track over onto the right deck. So let's try that right now. I'm gonna try loading this song. There we go, and that automatically plays. And let's try loading another track over here on the right. Let's try this one. There we go. Now, these are both playing, and I've got my crossfader set all the way to the left. Now, let's say I want to add a hot cue. All I gotta do is to press the numbers one, two, three, four, or five over here for the left deck, or the numbers six, seven, eight, and nine over here on the right deck. So let's just stop both of these tracks first. You, you can play or pause any uh, either deck just by pressing the space bar, just like that. But uh, let's just move back to the beginning. And let's say I want to add a hot key over here. Move it over there. And I uh, just press the number one. And now I've got a hot key over there. That's good to go. I can just press it again. If I want to jump back, just like that. If I want to add another one, press another hot key button. And now I can jump in between the hot keys. Super easy. And for the right deck, Let's try moving the crossfader all the way to the right. Let's go back to the very beginning over here. Now, let's say I want to add a cue here at the beginning. Just press number six. That's the first cue. Space bar. Now let's add another one. Seven and eight, nine, and so on. Now you're probably wondering, hey, how come when Joey pressed the space bar, deck two played? A while ago it was deck one. Well, it depends on the context of what you're doing. If you were doing something in deck two, pressing the space bar will stop or start that deck. And if you're doing something in deck one, it will start or stop that deck. So let's move to the first hotkey. I'm gonna press play here. And let's say I wanna add a loop. Adding an auto loop is super easy. Just press A to add a auto loop over here on the left deck, like that. And if you want to double the length of the auto loop, just press the option button and press the letter D. This doubles it. You can have it by pressing Option and S. Smaller and smaller, just like that. And if you want to disengage the auto loop, just press A again. Right? Now for deck number two, if you want to engage a loop, just press the letter L. Here. And if you want to double it, hold Option and K. And if you want to have it, Option and J. There we go. So you can use this for creating EDM style or future house buildups. Again, to disengage, just press L again. There you go. Super, super easy. All right, so let's say we want to try doing a mix. So we want to move from the right deck over onto the left deck. Of course, I can just drag my finger along the crossfader over here to move that fader from the right to the left. But you can also use the smart keyboard in order to do that. So let's try playing this. Go. Now I'm going to sync up the left deck over with what we've got currently playing on the right. Let's sync. Okay. Now I am going to hit play. We are. And then now I can press Option and I can press the left arrow to move the crossfader incrementally from the right to the left. I can also hold it down so it moves like that. If I want it to be a little bit smoother, I can hold down the Option button as well as the Command button and press the right arrow key. And that's gonna move it all the way to the right little by little, but I don't have to hold down on the right arrow key anymore. 
So there you go, different styles of crossfading depending on um, the speed with which you want to fade from one deck to another. Again, you can just simply swipe your finger like that. But yeah, so this is more for uh, giving you options when you don't want to have to go to the touchscreen in order to do that. Right, so I just showed you a couple of essentials there. Showed you how to start or stop a deck by using the space bar. Also showed you hot cues for the left deck and the right deck by using the number pad over here at the top. I showed you auto loops using A, S, D for the left deck and L, K, J for the right deck. And I also showed you how to uh, work the crossfader using the arrow keys over here. And of course, to browse your playlist using the arrow keys as well. But there are tons of other keyboard shortcuts that you can use. And in order to view them, all you gotta do is to press the command button over here on the keyboard, hold it for a couple of seconds, and this little window shows up. And this now shows you all of the available keyboard shortcuts. So you've got tons here. You can set the grids. You can do, you know, you can jump to start points if you like and set start points. And you can even match the keys of the two songs if you want to do some um, harmonic mixing. And you've also got, you know, all of the reset slider commands over here. You can do some break transitions if you want to emulate like a turntable stopping. And you can also change the tempo of the decks incrementally just by using the keyboard as well. So again, in order to access this, just Press and hold on the command button over in the keyboard and this window pops up showing you all the available hotkeys for DJ. So that's it for this tips and tricks video. Let me know if you've been spinning with DJ for iOS. Let me know how you spin with it, whether you use it with like a DJ splitter cable, you use it with a DJ controller like the Reloop Mix on 4 or the Beatpad 2, or you just use it all on its own. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.